Dad, thank you in Yahusha's name. You made me, so you know very well that I am but dust. Oh, I thank you for calling me into your kingdom to serve you at this specific place, at this specific time, for a very specific purpose. Despite my ordinariness, I belong to you, and you are anything but ordinary. Help me to pour out your grace and compassion upon others that they too may experience the richness of your love. And I thank you for that. Through me, my Father, show others how you can use an ordinary life to bring extraordinary blessings into the world. And I thank you that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess the Lord Yahusha as Lord and Savior to the glory of you. In Yahusha's name I pray, thank you. Hey now, welcome to you all. Hey now, the word for today is work. Work cannot always be agreeable. Since we will have to learn it sooner or later, we might as well begin now to learn that we cannot always do just the things we like and do the work only when we feel like working. We shall also have to learn that we can't dodge paying attention to tedious details. Life requires that we work work being simply the opposite of rusting away and nature requires that we work at something we were designed to do such activity is exhilarating and interesting it begets energy health and happiness it defeats tensions if a person likes to work and has learned the simple joy of doing something well, if he or she feels pleased at producing something of value to society, he or she will be generating pleasant emotions for themselves all the time they are working, as well as for the person who hires them. Now we must get rid of the extraordinary notion that manual work is degrading. There is nothing more ennobling than manual work and nothing better for physical or mental health. Work gives you an appetite for your meals. It lends solidity to your slumber. It also gives you a perfect appreciation of a holiday. There is a time for all things a time to work and a time to play. We shall work all the better for reasonable change. And one reward for work is to secure leisure. Try to be one that's sad about you. He or she wears out both night and day at their work. Discover as soon as possible the time of day at which you work best. I leave you with this, find your place and hold it, find your work and do it, put everything you've got, everything you've got into it, work smarter, not harder. Let's begin, thus the heavens were completed in all their vast array, by the seventh day God had finished the work. He had been doing so on the seventh day he rested from all his work Genesis 2 1 and 2 see your job is what you were trained to do you may have gone to school to learn your job 
on your job, you have certain duties and you get paid for doing them. But as you well know, your employer can always find somebody else who has been trained to do that particular job or your boss can decide that a person is no longer needed to do that job. All too easily, you can be replaced, laid off, or fired. Sometimes the company you work for will fail and close its doors, causing you and all your fellow employees to lose their jobs. Oh, but your work is different. Your true work is what you were born to do. No kind of educational system can teach you your true work because it is your life purpose and it is revealed by your God-given gifts. No employer on earth can take that away from you. Nobody can fire you from that. They can lay you off from a job, but they cannot lay you off from being yourself. When you leave a job, you take your work, which is your innate purpose, with you. Whenever you land your true work, you can plant your giftedness so that it can start to grow again. See, you are much more than your job. We all need to think about our jobs and we all need to put effort into satisfying the requirements of our jobs. But we also need to think about our true work, our purpose in life, our God-given assignment. Whether you are currently job hunting or happily employed, you should spend just as much time trying to find yourself as you spend trying to find a job or satisfy the people you work for. Shift your thinking. If you can find yourself, you will gain a new perspective on what you were created to do on this earth. You were not created to punch a time clock. That's just what you may happen to be doing at the beginning and end of your work days. You were created to contribute to the great bringing in of the kingdom of God. The king created you and the king called you. He gave you special gifts that match with his purpose for your life. He wants you to discover that purpose so you can fulfill it. Fulfilling your God-given purpose can happen wherever you go. By God's grace, you can do your true work even if you are out of work at the moment. God likes to move people all around. He makes sure that he has representatives in many places, and that includes as many workplaces and job categories as possible, including the unemployed category. Listen, your true work is ongoing throughout your life on this planet. Your job is only your career. It is temporary. You can lose it. Your whole career can collapse. You can also have more than one career in your lifetime. But your true work is your life assignment. You cannot lose that. Yes, you can let it languish. You can let it go unexplored and untried, but you cannot lose the assignment you were born with. You cannot be deprived of your innate gifts and life purpose, even if you are deprived of a paying job for a long time. Points to ponder. Your job is what you were trained to do. Your true work is different. You are much more than your job. If you find yourself, you will gain a new perspective on what you were created to do on this earth. The king created you and the king called you. 
He gave you special gifts that match with his purpose for your life. He wants you to discover that purpose so that you can fulfill it. Please listen. There are too many people who feel locked in the wrong job. They hate getting up in the morning and heading off to work. They find no joy in their work. Here is the good news, though. You don't have to stay in that dungeon. There are keys to finding the right job for you. 20th century men and women need to be reminded at times that work is not the result of the fall. Man was made to work because the God who made him was and is a working God. Man was made to be creative with his mind and his hands. Work is part of the dignity of his existence. I personally long to accomplish great and noble tasks, but it is my chief duty to accomplish humble tasks as though they were great and noble. The world is moving along not only by the mighty shoves of its heroes, but it also, but listen, also by the aggregate of the tiny pushes of each true honest worker. Father, thank you for this word today. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for blessing us with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to understand what you are saying every day. In the name of Yahusha, I pray. Amen.